Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and welcome back to the Christmas calendar tutorial series. And in this video, I am going to show you how you can create lazy var properties. So let's get started. Okay, now what are lazy var properties? Well, that is the question that we are going to answer in today's video. So let's just start by opening up a new Xcode project while well, creating a new Xcode project. Uh, create new Xcode project, Let's tap on that, and I will choose a single view app from the Rebellopers uh, group. Uh, go ahead and take a look at my other video on how to create a custom Xcode project template if you don't know how to uh, do uh, that. Okay, click on next. Uh, product name, let's say, that is fine. Okay, uh, root view controller will be simple view controller. Okay, let's click on next and uh, choose a place for our repository to live. Let's create a new folder here. Okay, let's create that and let's create a new folder called code. And that is it. And select create git repository on my Mac. So you will be able to see this repository on my GitHub page. Okay, now that is it. As you can see uh, this custom project uh, template has removed the main storyboard, which is Cool. Okay, now uh, let us just go to our view controller and let's talk about lazy var properties or rather yet how we could use lazy var properties and when to use it. But first of all, let me just show you how uh, we would go about creating, uh, let's say, a, a variable here. Let's say we want to uh, set the variable of our view height, let's say we have a view uh, in our uh, view controller, view height, let's say let it be a CG float, CG float, there we go, and it will be, let's say, 20. Okay, and I believe with command plus I can make this a little larger so you may see better. Okay, so here we have our uh, view height. And if we wanted to set the view height for um, our custom view, then we could do so. But what if we wanted to access uh, this uh, view height in another function, not in the view did load? So let's create a function like uh, setup views. It doesn't really matter. What it does matter is that we are in a different function. And now we are unable to uh, uh, access our view height. So that is why functions are declared like so they are encapsulated. And that is a good thing. So how could we access our uh, view height in the setup view function? So in another function? Well, basically what we would do is just simply copy uh, this out, um, let me cut this out with command X and add it as a list of properties in the class. So I usually add my properties at the top of my class. So there we go. And now we can access our view height. Great. Okay. Now, what if we, uh, and, and that uh, it takes care of most of uh, our situations, but what if I want to uh, not set the view height to 20, I want to set the view height according to the height of my uh, screen. For uh, example, if we have, well, let's say we want to set it to half of the screen. And that is not the same in terms of points or pixels. If we have an iPad or an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 5. So if we hard code it, that will not be half. So what do we do when we want to access uh, other properties inside our property? And that is the key uh, sentence here. Well, let's set this to our view width. So let's talk about the view width, okay? And the way we would do that is to create our view width 
like so. It will be a CG float again. And this time around we uh, initialize it like so. What we want to do here is create, or rather yet, let this be a constant again and a constant because those uh, this 20 can be a constant so it, uh, it if you can and if you do know that your property will not change then it is advisable to set it as a constant so less is the way to go in here again let cre let's create another constant here like um, height and uh, it is going to be of type cg float and let it be let's say 20 again and let's return oh not height sorry about that with <laughs> with and let's return our width here and now either in the view did load or either in the setup views i can uh, access our view width. There we go. And of course I can set any other properties for this. Uh, it uh, For setting other properties it is uh, useful for uh, let's say UI buttons or UI labels. If you are familiar with my videos I do this all the time so you know the examples what I'm talking about. Now let us just think of the other uh, situation that I was talking about on the height perspective let's talk about the width perspective let's uh, say that we want this view to be the half of the width of our device again this is universal and it is not the same we cannot hard code it for all of the devices now what we would uh, do here is let's see let me just type it out here uh, let and uh, I would go something like this view and dot let's say frame dot width divided by two and uh, that would be a universal width of view and we can use that again we cannot use this in our uh, setup views function because it is encapsulated in the view did load so instead of that let me just copy uh, this out and maybe paste it in the view width. Now, this will not work because view cannot be uh, recognized inside our property here. Let me uh, remove this line. So what we need to do is set this property to be a lazy variable. It is lazy because it is lazily loaded meaning that we will wait till the view is loaded so we can access the view after uh, uh, well before we want to set this property so we can access the width of our frame and again from the views frame now we want to set this as a variable because it can be a uh, change uh, lazily loaded very uh, properties need to be variable so let's change this to var uh, 2 so now we can access our view width as usual as we did with the other type of view width but now with a lazily loaded variable you can uh, get access to self or in, the, in this case the view and that is it for lazily uh, loaded variables and properties uh, i hope you enjoyed this video it was a kind of interesting video but good to know how to use these lazy var properties now uh, it is your turn go ahead and comment down in the uh, comments below what type of uh, properties do you like to use uh, do you often use these lazy words or not do you use only simple variables or uh, constants go ahead and comment down below in the comments i'm really interested in your opinion now that is it for me today hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't done so and of course hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos coming out from my channel now, I will see you in the next one.